Hi, this is James Atassi. I'm doing a quick presentation on cellular rejuvenation and cellular regeneration of the axolotl and the use of phage therapy to improve age-related diseases. We'll lower some images describing what I will be talking about today. I hope you will enjoy this slide. Some of the processes of cellular rejuvenation seem programmed in response to endocrine signals as others respond to environmental variables affecting nutrition or cellular metabolism. Aging clocks and the determination of lifespan is difficult to calculate as the likelihood of genetic and environmental factors coinciding with lifestyle choices all contribute to characteristics of the aging process. These age-associated factors mentioned include the loss of reproductive capacity, decreased metabolism, depletion of adult stem cell pools, increased cellular senescence, increased DNA damage, altered immune responses, increased time to heal injuries, and increased precedence of age-related diseases like cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, you name it. These have all been correlated with the aging process. Much of these are descriptions of denatured cellular material or are a result of accumulation of denatured tissue. What we need is clarity and instruction capable of reaching those of all ages looking to understand the mechanisms underlying age-related pathologies and their roles in developing therapies that improve our quality of life in later years. What is most convincing of the study on axolotl cellular regeneration is its pertinence to changes in fibroblast activity. Although not well defined, fibroblasts are present in every organ system and are particularly rich in the connective tissues. One of the most well recognized roles of fibroblasts rests in their ability to generate extracellular matrix, not molecules, ECM, constituting the quote unquote glue that holds tissues and organs together. However, fibroblasts are also known to retain positional memory such that they remember when they're located relative to the different axes of the body, even within a particular structure such as the limb. Aberrant or abnormal fibrotic activity is responsible for scarring in response to acute injury, which increases with age. Some of the major age-related chronic diseases include heart disease, chronic lower respiratory disease, kidney disease, and chronic liver disease and cirrhosis, which involve tissue fibrosis. As we will describe in the following sections, fibroblasts play multiple essential roles in wound healing and regeneration in the axolotl. Thus, the axolotl is an excellent model to study the regulation of fibroblast activity during regenerative responses in adults. The axolotl life cycle occurs at a more rapid rate than humans. Embryogenesis takes approximately two weeks, after which time the larval animals will hatch out from their eggs as free swimming animals. These larvae will continue to develop in the following months, where they'll pattern limbs, develop lungs, and rapidly grow in size. At approximately one year after fertilization, nine months for males, 12 for females, the animals become sexually mature, although they retain many larval traits, such as the retention of gills and an aquatic habitat. We're going to move on to phage therapy and discussing the fact that the phages are basically antibacterial agents. They're used to eliminate multi-resistant, multi-drug resistant, multi -drug resistant uh, pathogens, some uh, gram positive and some gram negative, but using two different forms, the lysogenic cycle or the lytic cycle, both of which are supposed to release nucleic acid into the cell or cell properties in the body containing phage uh, components. These components will either be added by prophage in the lysogenic cycle and be injected into the cell or will be injected directly into the cell and with attachment will add DNA to transcript uh, and translate in the cell creating their own Phages. These phages will directly cause apoptosis in other pathogens as well as cancer cells. Thank you for your time. I hope this quick uh, video was instructive and I look forward to hearing from you all.